All right, homies, we got the SEMA X5SW. Um, this thing's pretty sweet. It's uh, first person view. You can clip your phone right, right to the front of it with this clip. You know, your phone goes in there. Um, it's really cool. I like everything about it except the range is horrible. Now, I don't know if it's because the first person's also 2.4 gigahertz as well as the antenna, or if the antenna's just really crappy. But a lot of people get better results by putting a router antenna into here. Um, so we're gonna try that and see if that if that's the problem or if it's them both being on the same frequency. But I think it's because the antenna in here is so crappy. So the only problem is this needs to be here. So we're gonna have to mount this, drill a hole or something, and have it come out of the back of it somehow. But I'm not very good at soldering, so my buddy Nick, who's usually the one filming, is gonna is gonna do this. So stay tuned. Okay guys, we pulled this thing apart, or Nick pulled it apart for me. It's very simple. There's eight screws on the back, and then there's eight screws holding the board in place. For the most part, they're all the same. So you don't need to worry about mixing them together or anything. Make sure you have the batteries out. And the problem with the X5SW is there's no... Let's see if I can get that to focus. There's no grounding plate on the antenna. There's just the antenna. So we're just not going to connect the ground at all. We're going to have the wire like this, and you see... Can you see that? Come on, focus. Yeah, see the ground... We just got to pull to the side there, so we're just going to connect that and see what happens. Easy okay you. guys, Nick's going to desolder the wire, it's soldered all the way through, oh shit sorry dude, it's soldered all the way through, oh that was easy. <laughs> this pops right out for you. Yeah but now we got to get this out, so I'd like to be able to push ours through like that one was. And he's gonna tin up the new one. Do you want me to hold it while you tin it? Yeah, if you want. I got it. I got you. That one push back enough. Because this is so small, is that why it's so important to tin up the wire? Yeah, it helps grab. Makes it easier. Otherwise, you might be fighting it. Not that much. Okay, once again, that's a small part. What I'm gonna do is heat it up and then I'll probably grab it from you. Well, okay. Uh, we kind of have to two man this. So okay. I have a holder. Uh, where, here, you put it. Here, where did I put it? Oh man, this thing's fucking hot. <laughs> That's okay. You can go. I change my hand position. You can do it the same way. Oh fuck, I slid it a little. Fuck, dude. Here, where do I need it? Right in that little holder. Let me get that up there. I'm gonna push not too far right there. Right here? Is that good? Clean that up, just let it cool down for a second. Alright, let go. Okay, alright, let up. that cool down. He's gonna clean it up and then we'll come back. Okay, now guys, the problem being I need to keep that part on the this this part on there so I can put on the phone clip for the first person view. So what we're gonna do is he's gonna drill a hole like right here and then the antenna's gonna come out of the back of this. So I'm show him how it's gonna fit in. Yeah, hopefully you know if everything goes to plan. Oops, that really came off. The wire shorter. will be tucked down but we'll be just under the circuit board and we have should have just enough clearance all right so fingers crossed he's gonna drill a pilot hole uh, with, and then we'll come back all right now I'll step it up a little bit clean the hole back a little bit see that? oh yeah I heard it did that yesterday. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Smell it burning, dude. Yeah. Okay, so. We gotta go up one more still. We'll clean it up a little and see how that fits, and we'll come back. No. Oops. You can kind of see I it still, so. can't you? We added some hot glue there to just kind of be over the ground part of the wire so it didn't touch. 
I need to give some support so if it gets twisted, nothing breaks. Nick's just screwing in the circuit board right now. See, we got it to come out the back here. So that's pretty sweet. And then we're still going to be able to have the other piece here for the first person. So we're going to screw everything back together and uh, show you what's up. I hooked up to the Wi-Fi too on the first person. So I'm going to see if it gets any better range. Uh, it is snowing out, so I don't want to take it too far. But let's give it a shot. It is kind of windy too. Well, not that bad. A little windy. Whoa, very icy. <laughs> ah, it's pretty. It's definitely farther. Okay, well, it definitely can go farther. So that's an improvement. And I got good control. It is a little windy, and this drone is known for not being good in the wind. Oh yeah. <laughs> the range is much better. I I couldn't go half that far before with the Wi-Fi connected. So this mod so far seems like it's a success. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, Well guys, looks like uh, that's a solution for the SEMA X5SW and you don't need to ground the wire, just put some hot glue over it and leave it, leave it off. Alright, well, hope you learned something, thanks for watching.